In this video, we're going to show you how to install the lower forward control arm on your Jeep Wrangler located at your front suspension. Using a 19 millimeter socket, go ahead and loosen and remove your lug nuts. Once you remove the lug nuts, remove the wheel and set it aside. On our lower forward control arm, we have a cam bolt here that helps with the alignment of the vehicle. Now what we're gonna do is before we remove these, uh, the hardware here, the nut, the cam bolt and everything, we wanna go ahead and mark this. That way there, when we install the new control arm, we have a preliminary setting for the wheel alignment. You will wanna go ahead and have an alignment performed after you replace the control arms when there is a cam installed. So at this point here, we can go ahead and simply mark right across. We're gonna line up that line there. I'm gonna go here. This is the main line you're gonna be focusing on here when we remove this. Always focus that the cam bolt is closer to the front. Let's go ahead, loosen that bolt. We're gonna use a 21 millimeter socket on the side here and a 21 millimeter wrench on the other side. Now at this point, I'm gonna put the wrench on the head side here. And wanna go ahead and just kinda of move this bolt a little bit. You can see the cam moving. I'm gonna push on this. Now this is a cam on this side as well as on the bolt head side. And we're gonna to continue to just kinda of work this bolt out. You can go ahead and pop that cam off. And work that bolt out from the other side. There's the bolt head and the cam there. Now, if you marked the cam on this side here, then you don't have to mark it on this one here because this will automatically line up with the cam on that side. The bolt is keyed, so there's a flat portion of the bolt right there that lines up with the cam so it locks it in a place. Now, on the inside of the control arm, you have this wire harness right here. Now, there's going to be two retainers, one here, one towards the forward section. You're going to reach up inside the control arm, and there's just little spring clips here. I'm going to use a pair of needle-nose pliers, and you're going to pinch the little tabs together. And this is what it looks like. It looks like a little dart, and you're just going to pinch these together and that will release that. We're gonna do the same for the front. With that harness loose, we can now go ahead and remove the rearward bolt on the control arm. Now the rearward bolt has a 21 millimeter nut on the outside, but the head of the bolt on this is an 18 millimeter. So go ahead and use that box wrench on the inside. Let's go ahead and loosen this. Now this bolt is not a cam bolt, this is a fixed position. So you don't have to worry about anything as far as that goes. Now what we wanna do is work that bolt out. Once you have that bolt out, we can go ahead and slide that control arm down and out. It might be stuck in there from age What we might do is just try and get a pry bar in here. Do the same on the front. So there's the old control arm. Take your control arm. First thing you wanna do is identify what side that you want on the inside, and that's gonna be this one here with the two holes in it. Make sure that the slot is open on the bottom. 
feed that control arm up and in, and get that bolt started in there. I'm just gonna get that nut on there. Go ahead and bring the control arm up. And you're probably gonna wanna use a mallet or something like that to tap this up and in. Put our bolt and cam through on the inside. Now with the bolt coming through, Take your cam, that'll only go on one way. We're gonna go ahead and put the side that we marked obviously on the outside. Now you can see that that isn't going to fit. So number one, we're gonna to continue to tap that bolt through on the inside. Then we're gonna put our wrench on the other side here. I'm gonna rotate this. We're gonna get our cam to line up on the inside. That cam will pop in. You can see our crayon mark lining up beautiful. Install the nut. Now what I wanna do is, I'm just gonna run this nut down. Now I'm not gonna tighten it, it just bottomed out. That's it, don't wanna tighten it anymore. Next step we wanna do is we're gonna use our jack underneath the front suspension here, and we want to raise the suspension to what we call the neutral ride height. This means that once you start raising up the suspension, we wanna raise this to the point where the, where the vehicle just starts coming off the ground, where as if we put this on the ground with the wheel on and the suspension was compressed. That is the neutral ride height. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna compress our suspension here just to the point where it starts coming off of our lift or our jack. There we go, right there. That is considered our neutral ride height. Now I wanna go ahead and tighten these down. The reason why we do this here is that if we don't compress the suspension and we torque this into place and then we put it down, it's gonna twist up these bushings inside and it's going to give you an erratic ride and it can cause premature damage to those bushings. We're gonna to torque the front bolt to 85 foot-pounds. All right, let's move to the back. We're gonna to torque the rear bolts to 130 foot-pounds. Now we can install our harness here. You're just gonna press those little buttons right into the hole inside of the control arm. Next, we can remove our jack, lower down that suspension. At this point here, your next step is to go ahead and install the wheel, dig it for road test, and you're all set. Good, install your wheel. Get our lug nuts threaded on here. Once we have all these started a few threads, we'll go ahead and snug them down. Go ahead and torque down your lug nuts to 100 foot-pounds. After finishing this installation, it's important to have an alignment done on your vehicle. 
when only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.